Let Chip train him in the backfield. Out of the gun. He'll fake it to train him and throw to the outside. And Julian Fleming. Before he hit Fleming, the hands could not hang on. And now he's under pressure on second down. Flushed out. Throws down the sideline. Marvin Harrison Jr. can't get that. And now on third and ten. McCord backpedaling. Harrison has this one and has the Buckeyes first first down out of bounds on the far side 46 yard line a gain of 15. And exactly like you would expect an elite receiver do he, he answers with an unbelievable corner out here on third and 10. He gives Kyle McCord just an incredible surface working back. Try to keep the references down. Though. Second and eight out of the gun McCord again backpedaling firing left sideline. Fleming fighting for it. No, it's Harrison, and he's got it. Inside the red zone to the 18-yard line, a gain of 34. You, you got to like the call there by Ryan Day and the design. They've worked that out route two times in a row on the left side of the field, and Kyle McCord comes back and is able to deliver a double move to Marvin Harrison Jr. down the field on the out and up for a huge explosive play. That's a nice See that replay again for the rest of the broadcast. May or may not use it again. Ball to Harrison here on second down. Got the tight end flanked wide to the bottom of the screen. Backpedaling. McCord lofting for the end zone. Caught. That's a touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. capped off by that touchdown. Buckeyes on the board early. 6 nothing here at Ross Aid Stadium. It is a Big Ten sack. Martel Tate checks into the game. Wide to the left. Harrison's to the right. Marvin Harrison catches. Mar he makes a move. 30, 25. Marvin Harrison down the sideline. Dylan Fiedemann, the freshman, pushes him out of bounds. But for Harrison, it's his fourth catch already today. And Marvin Harrison does a great job. One of the things Brian Hartline talked to us, like, what can this guy get better at? He's pretty much a lead at everything. He talked about running after the catch, and there they get him the ball quickly in his hands, and he does the rest, making the defender miss, getting the first down. Harrison already four for 77. Brian Hartline, former NFL wide receiver, also coaches these wide outs. The play fake to Johnson under pressure. Train him. 35. Big collision at the 38 and is in there. He is wearing five. He is now to Cord's left on first down. And McCord's going to throw on the run. Incomplete in traffic. Certainly would train him on the sideline. And Hayden in the backfield. McCord pulls it. And he runs. And but for the sideline now. Third and one. McCord on the keeper. And the Buckeyes are four for four today. Early on third. Back to push the quarterback. He was the up back here. McCord's going to take a shot. Once Harrison. Incomplete at buying in just in case that ball was caught with Alessandro on the coverage now on second down This one's up the seam. That one's caught by the big tight end Kate Stone fumbled to end Ohio State's last possession as he was going in McCord comes back and goes right to the is down This is a very different looking Ohio State offense today McCord to throw Stover has another one Stover into a lot of Xavier Johnson in the backfield his third carry of the day now a deep drop McCord takes a shot downfield while he takes a shot in the backfield. Incomplete intended for Fleming with Rodgers, the defensive back with the pressure. Yeah, I think it's that's an incredible job there by Ryan Walters down at the pressure. You know, on second and one just across midfield, there's such a highly likely chance that you're going to get a shot out of the offense. And that's exactly what Ohio State does. They dial up. The max pressure, two-man shot down the field. They're able to bring pressure offensive line, giving these guys room to run. Henderson watching. Harrison going motion. McCord rolling out, looking that way. Now directing traffic. Watch Marvin. Harrison. And another touchdown. He's been in the end zone. The ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. on the edge. Crowd just made some noise. Let's take a second look. See if he holds on to it. The ruling of a touchdown in the previous play is under further video review. Did he have it? I don't think he did. I think he bobbled that football. We're going to get a better look from this angle. Certainly looks like that, that left hand comes down on the bobble. Out of bounds. Yeah, that's not a touchdown. Four. Third and goal. McCord, tall in the pocket, throws into the end zone in traffic. That's caught. 
That's a touchdown. That's Kate Stover. The football juggling on the sideline. One play later, comes back and in traffic, hits Stover. Great catch. And Grant's going to be the right guard when Purdue is. Guys back on the field, and McCord's going to throw on first down. How about Money Scott's in motion? Hayden is in the backfield. Here's McCord with time. Marvin Harrison Jr. could not hang on. Rodgers has been with them all the way. Rodgers had the coverage there again. This is another really, really good route from Marvin Harrison Jr., but you know, you, you have to give Derek Rogers the credit just really never gives up on the play. He's kind of pestering one on second and 20 out of the pistol. McCord, free runner, spins away from Rogers. Now throws it deep. Wants Johnson, and he can't hang on at the 30. Drive missed a field goal. His game closed the first half with a good drive, and again missed a field goal. The Buckeyes open. What a catch it here to bring up a short second and one could not catch it to open up the game and now McCord with a little trickery hits Johnson on the rollout Xavier Johnson breaks a tackle and Xavier Johnson who is stepping into the big shoes today on the Mecca of Buka with 21 yards into Purdue territory Dylan Thienman with the tackle yeah, and Xavier Johnson just does a great job here he kind of remains you know in the old option verbiage in pitch phase and you got to give Kyle McCord credit because he just is a playmaker out there. He's kind of a shortstop distributing the baseball. Tight end, former wide receiver. Lines up wide right in motion as a wide receiver. And McCord takes a deep shot intended for Fleming. Incomplete, but two flags come out. Marquinhos Brown is arguing his case, but he's not going to win. That's pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Number one, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic, first down. And he's still kind of hot. Again, you get into things that these officials are looking for. And anytime you see a player, we can see it up here in the box. You see the jersey grab. And the replay doesn't show it. It was there before as he was breaking to the corner. You can see him pulling on that left shoulder to do what he does best. I mean, this is an elite back that just really hasn't gotten his chance yet. Gain in 19, incomplete here on first night intended for Harrison as McCord rolled out and fired to the pylon. Brown with the coverage. Harrison could not hang on at the front pylon. Yeah, you know they're gonna keep trying to find ways. You see Kyle McCord getting outside the pocket. Marvin Harrison Jr. just isn't able. G. Scott, the tight end in the backfield. Fake the pitch, running for his life. McCord throws it up for grabs in the end zone. Fight for it, and another flag. Sorry, Buckeyes great on third down, 6-4-7. As McCord backpedals, fires for Tate. Tate has it. Tate breaks tackles and make it 7 for 8. Botros Alessandro eventually with the tackle as the true freshman from Chicago. Gets a first down out to the 36. And Ohio State's been great on third down all day today. They're able to get the ball out, breaking tackles for another huge third down conversion by Carnell Tate, who just checked into the game. Buckeye fans certainly aware of this inside the one yard line really got him fired up. Maybe I spoke too soon. Certainly a little animated there as McCord drops to throw. Tate running free. Across the 20 and thrown down at the 14. Cam Allen with the tackle. Carnell Tate with his second big play on this drive. Yeah, we, we talked about Carnell Tate just before as a guy who's burst onto the scene. Just an incredible job there. One of the things this Purdue defense does, they find a lot of different ways to get to cover two. They try to disguise it, make it hard on the quarterback to see that's a great job by a true freshman wide receiver. And a gain of 60 to put him inside the 15. And now McCord throws another one. Cade Stover has his second touchdown today. You know this tight end loves seeing the tight end get involved. Two touchdowns for Cade Stover today. Again, it's all set up off of the ability for this offense 
to run the football. Cade Stover's a guy, you don't know if he's going to run block. They go the hard run action right at him, and he kind of sneaks his way through. Certainly, he, he gets a little bit of heat for his performances against some of the bigger teams in Michigan, but certainly he's taking care of the ones they're supposed to take care of here. You can do and you get a chance. And let's see what they do here with Brandon Innes, the freshman wide receiver, checking in. Number 11 balls out. Karloftis falls on it. It's Purdue football as the Boilermakers force a turnover. Nick Scorton took it away. It's a great job by the Boilermakers. This, this is a team that's... Julian feels a thumber recovered by the defense. First down. It's a team that's had a lot of success getting to the quarterback. They haven't been able to get to the quarterback yet today. They brought a couple corner pressures that caused a little bit of stress for Kyle McCord in the pocket, but now finally you see one of those edge players in the kick of the game. No, but he got the job done here as McCord is still in there and finds Harrison who is still in there, who has room and ahead of steam down the far side. Lines to be met, 2,000 yards for Marvin Harrison Jr. Among them, as McCord says in there, faces the rush and he just flings it, no whistle. That's a loose ball. Stover is back there to fall on it. Hadron Jenkins knocked it away. The 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 second the ball, straight possession. That Ryan Day sees his quarterback lose it in the backfield. Yeah, it's a heads up play there by Case Dover to, to, to jump on the football. Be curious to see here, you know, almost looked as if Kyle McCord was trying to throw the ball and them an opportunity to maybe try to go for this third down conversion. They're going to throw on third and 12. It's 